Okay, so the question is, what are the biggest mistakes I see in jujitsu training? Um, so the when you're training jujitsu, you're not sparring. You're essentially drilling technical portions of jujitsu in order to make them automatic. Okay, so if that's the premise. That's what we're trying to accomplish. You want to keep a couple of things in mind. One is every repetition, if it's getting better, should require less strain to produce more force. Okay, so to make that a little clearer, when I say less strain, I mean that you should not get exhausted from doing more and more repetitions. It should be kind of like walking down the street. You can keep doing it and you stop because you decided to rest. Uh, producing more force, I mean specifically mechanical force, the force that your skeleton allows you to produce by using the bones to make a structure in your body and using your bones to break down the structure of your opponent's body. And you do this by making them rely on muscular strain to try and overcome the force you're creating with your skeleton. Okay, that is literally what jiu-jitsu uh, leverages in jiu-jitsu. When people talk about leverage, they're talking about the skeleton, the levers that are our bones. Um, so when you're drilling, you want to keep in mind, these reps will get easier and easier as I do them. But the amount of force that my opponent experiences or my training partner experiences will go up and up and up. And if you think about what that implies, it means strain going down on my end, force production going up. That's how you get a really nice curve in your force production where you're not meeting each other and slightly overcoming them, but they're trying to hold up a wave and you're just crashing down on them. And it's an overwhelming amount of force. That is what produces effective jiu-jitsu. And it's in, in training, oftentimes the drilling just uh, devolves into, well, I did the thing a few times, so I'm done. Well, it's not. It's, you don't drill it until you got it right. You drill it until you cannot get it wrong. Okay? And then when it's you're under the duress of sparring, you're able to summon up that movement automatically it will not fatigue you, it will overcome your opponent, and you can move to the next part of the sequence. If you want more videos, please click below to subscribe. If you want to dive in deeper, you can click here to get a free video seminar I did of one of my favorite sequences uh, from standing to submission. And if you have any questions or anything you want to see, please leave it in the comments below.